Welcome back to Brick Artemis. My name is Rob. Today is another special video for you guys. It is the third vlog on the channel, but this one's going to be a little different because you guys are involved. So everything that happened on Instagram over this past week that I'm sure some of you have seen is going to be part of this video. So uh, midway through the video, we're going to kind of talk about the uh, questions that you guys went ahead and gave me on Instagram, and I'm going to answer them right here for you guys. We have about 10 or so questions to answer, so that's pretty cool. Um, we are also going to go ahead and talk about something that my nephew did for me and what he bought. Uh, you might have missed that on Instagram as well. A little bit about Hogwarts Legacy coming out, uh, which is today as I'm filming this. Um, <laughs> spoiler alert, it's pretty awesome. And kind of just uh, future plans for the channel. Uh, once again, so stay tuned. Let's go ahead and hit that intro and before we do go ahead and like this video and stick with us So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is my nephew Nick um, He is 19 years old and he decided to buy his dream set with his girlfriend, uh, they split it in half, uh, I guess four something a piece, and that is the UCS Millennium Falcon. And I am beyond stoked because he's going to be building it over here, which is really cool. I probably won't have any live because I'm not gonna be the one building it. He is, um, but I would love to have him on the channel to kind of talk about it in his process. That would be really cool. But the cool thing about him getting this set is that last night when he bought it, he went ahead and used my VIP so that I got all the points. What? Did we just become best friends? Yup. Do you want to go do karate in the garage? Yup. Which is awesome. So I got about 40 or so $50 worth in VIP points to add to my VIP. So profile, so that is amazing. So um, whenever I do finally get that Titanic or uh, maybe when you know the new Lord of the Rings sets comes out or something along those lines, I'll go ahead and use that then. So yeah, that's pretty cool. However, ruined my day today when I saw that Lego and they always seem to do this when I buy a set. They did it when I bought Mighty Bowser. They did it when I bought Diagon Alley and they did it now. I can't complain because they were free VIP points, but at the same time, how come every time I get a Lego set, a big one, the next day, and I mean the very next day, they decide to post online double VIP points? I don't know. So I lost out on the double VIP points. I can't be mad because they were free VIP points for me, but still, it's one of those things where it's like, man, I bought the Mighty Bowser for 280 and I could have gotten I could have gotten five times the amount. Five times the amount during the Black Friday sale last year. And then Diagon Alley, I could have had two times because it was literally two days later at that point. So that was rough, but I am looking forward to seeing him build this set. Um, I've always been a huge fan and dream of mine to get that set. So, hey man. Uh, yeah, if you're watching this, really looking forward to it. So as some of you know, I'm getting ready to move and we're moving in about a month. I'm moving with the kiddos, the wife, the family, everybody. And we're moving uh, to my parents' cottage for a few months until our new home is ready to go. And then we're moving in there. So we're basically moving twice in three months. And that is going to be crazy and difficult. And especially with a bunch of Lego sets. So hopefully we get through that process without losing any Lego sets, break any Lego, or lose any pieces of any kind. I'm kind of not wanting to build too much because I don't want to move more. Um, but when I do get to the cottage, that is when I want to build the A-frame cabin because hello, cabin in a cabin. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do there. Um, it would be amazing to build the Titanic there too, but I don't have that set, so keeping my fingers crossed, probably not gonna happen. But I am finishing up the Mighty Bowser to go with the Nintendo behind me, and um, that might be my last big set until I get to the cottage. And then um, when I move back 
or into the new home, I can go ahead and decide what shelves I'm gonna use, how I'm gonna display everything, and then continue building from there. So that's my plan for that. So about the questions you guys went ahead and gave me on Instagram, um, I'm not doing any live stuff right now. I wanna get over that thousand sub mark. I do have a couple people that I have reached out to um, to do some collabs. And um, I'll kind of keep that on the down low for now until it's a for sure thing. But it sounds like they're interested and I'm actually really looking forward to that once we get to that point. Again, um, not wanting to do it now until I get to the new place. So you're looking at probably around June, July. So, I mean, that's fine. It gives us time to plan, but I do have a couple great ideas in store. So hopefully they're still in tune for that come that time. But let's go ahead and get to some of these questions real quick. The first question is, Star Wars, Marvel, or DC? Which is the better franchise? Now, obviously, this is my opinion. Um, and and I'm going to have to go with Marvel. Uh, the MCU um, is, to me, by far the greatest franchise. If we're just talking about movies, um, I guess you could argue Star Wars. Um, but then again, DC, I mean, if you're talking about all DC movies, like the Dark Knight trilogy and... 1989 Batman and Batman Returns, then DC kind of gets in there. But if we're talking about everything, like comic books, movies, TV series, action figures, everything, uh, the whole nine yards, I, I would say Marvel. Um, and, and that is because I feel like, I mean, now Marvel is kind of, you know, falling off a little bit with this new phase that they just went through. But they seem to be hitting the mark a lot. I mean, comic books to me are the best. Spider-Man, Iron Man, I mean, just everything. Captain America, Hulk, like everybody. Venom had a good run for a while in comics um, uh, these past few years. So, yeah, I mean, you know, with with uh, with Carnage and, every, uh, Carnage and everything like that. So, um, yeah, I, I, guess, I guess I'd have to go Marvel there. And that's just for me personally. I'm really looking forward to Secret Wars too, by the way. So, hopefully that turns out to be good. Question number two, when did you start buying Lego? Um, I've, I've been buying Lego pretty much off and on my whole life. Now, that being said, when my kids got to a certain point where they were like, oh, Lego is so cool, I wanna buy Lego, I started buying it more. And back in November, October of last year is when I really started buying a lot for myself um, not just for the channel, but just to have fun, a stress reliever and all of that. So I guess you could say, I mean, since I was a kid, but, um, but yeah, I mean, as of these big sets more periodically, October, 2022, call me a late bloomer, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, October, 2022, if you want to go with that question number three, do you have a dream set for the collection? Absolutely. And we talked about this with the special guest, uh, my niece on the channel, uh, my top five dream sets, but I'll go ahead and say Millennium Falcon is one. Once again, I won't get into that, but I, I would say my number one dream set as of right now is either just get my hands on the Stranger Things uh, dream uh, uh, set, or um, also I'm, I'm really really digging the Titanic right now. I know it's been out for a little while now, but uh, I just watched the movie again recently and I still love that movie. And uh, I just, I really want that set. Um, you know, it's it's almost five feet long, almost, not quite, but that's just amazing. Um, and, and it would just be a cool monumental piece in the man cave, you know? So, yeah. Question number four, what got you into collecting? Well, I would say, I would say either comic books or Funko Pops. Um, you know, you are into something so much like comic books and you don't realize it, but after a while you realize, oh, I have a lot of comic books. Does that make me a collector? Well, sure. I mean, you read it, you're reading them and you're into it and it's a hobby, but you also have a lot of comic books and you turn into a collector. Well, since then... It went into Funko Pops and it went into some other figures and now it's definitely Lego. So, um, you know, from movies, I used to collect movies like special editions, video games and all types of stuff. So um, I guess you could say comics are really the base of that, though, and, and Funko Pops, honestly. So um, next question. Do you follow any other Lego YouTubers? Yes, absolutely. I mean, um, it's really hard, though. 
being your own YouTube channel and trying not to take anybody else's ideas or seeing a good video that they put out and that you really enjoyed and saying, I could do that, but make it my own. You don't really want to do that. And, um, you know, you kind of want to make up your own content. So it's really hard. The only thing that I will say, though, is this. I mean, everybody does top five videos. Everybody does top 10, your favorite sets, you know, uh, the best sets of 2022. So I don't think that's taking away from anybody. But there are certain things that it's really hard. So it does make it hard following these other YouTubers. But I obviously, you know, look up to a lot of these YouTubers, even if they're younger than me, because they've been around longer in the YouTube game. That being said, I had a few or a couple channels before this uh, and other categories, but you know, it's it's definitely, you know, it's part of the community. You want to know what's going on for one. You want to get to know other YouTubers and hoping that they watch your stuff too, and uh, they would want to be a part of the community with you as well. It doesn't always happen. Um, I wish it would more. Um, you know, but it is what it is. Uh, you know, I'm not that big yet. And um, you know what? I don't really care to be. I, I'm having fun what I'm doing. And if you guys love it, great. If not, then I love it. I'm having fun. And the community that I'm involved in right now, 12 away from 500 subscribers, by the way, in less than three months, is been really fun. So, um, but yeah, I, I follow other YouTubers uh, in the Lego community, definitely. Um. Most exciting Lego release. Now, I'm not exactly sure what they mean by this question, whether it is what's coming up next or the most exciting Lego release that I kind of lived through. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say what's the most exciting coming out this year. And that would definitely probably be... I have two. I have the Lord of the Rings Rivendell set that's coming out in March. And I think everyone's excited for that. It's a beautiful looking set. Uh, has 6,167 pieces. Just amazing with 15 minifigures. I mean, Lord of the Rings is back, baby. Like, let's go. You know, that's exciting for me. But also in the fall is coming Hocus Pocus from Lego Ideas. At least that's like the big rumor leak. Uh, we haven't had the official look at that yet or anything. But it does sound like it's coming. And, um, you know, growing up in the 90s... Hocus Pocus is a big deal, even to people who weren't even born in the 90s. Like, so to get the Sanderson sister house, like, yeah, I mean, that that is going to be a fun build around Halloween. I don't care what anybody else says. So probably that. All right, next question. Most expensive set that I have ever bought. <sighs> that I have ever bought on my own and on my with my own money is definitely the Harry Potter Diagon Alley set. It was well over $400. I believe I spent about 480 ish on it. Now that day I could have gotten, you know, the Razor Crest or something along those lines. I, or Hogwarts Express or Hogwarts Castle. I chose Diagon Alley. Uh, once again, in previous videos I've mentioned, I just felt like you got more bang for your buck with that. You get Awesome, an awesome set, just just awesome. And I actually still have it in box, can't wait to pop it open, but that is one that I'm wanting to start building when I get to the new house. So, um, something, last question here. Something you wish was turned into a set. Now this is something I talk about a lot because I don't have the skills to make my own mock or design online to show Lego ideas and kind of get my stuff on there. So I just talk about it a lot. Um, the one I talk about the most is the Willy Wonka set. I think it'd be really cool to have a, uh, a chocolate factory. Now, if they can do Hogwarts, they can do a chocolate factory. Just saying. Um, now, that would be hard and kind of far-fetched. So I'll bring it back a little. And I will say, how about that 70s show? Um, that would be really cool. I mean, they've done Seinfeld and, Seinfeld and Friends and they've also done The Office. So I think that 70s show, like a basement scene, would be really, really, really cool. And then of course, another one that I hope that we can get soon are more like like um, video game systems. Um, I think that'd be really cool. I'd love to see an actual official Game Boy. I would love to see like a Sega Genesis, uh, a PlayStation, 
or something of that sort. I think that'd be really cool to kind of to kind of add those. We have the Atari so far and the Nintendo Entertainment System, so it's definitely possible. So let's uh let's hope for that. Um, you know, something that recently came out though to kind of change the subject. And and before I go into that, actually, I I want to thank you guys for sending those questions to me. Um, you know, Instagram's going pretty smooth. YouTube is going pretty smooth. The subscribers kind of slowed down a little bit. Um, but again, that, that is what it is. Um, you know, we're still getting some views, which is good and meeting a lot of friends and it's been amazing. So thank you guys for sending those questions. It really does, does mean a lot, a whole lot. Um, but yeah, something that came out today, officially came out today, unless you got the 72 hour, um, you know, pre-release for, was the Hogwarts, I almost said Hogwarts Express, Hogwarts Legacy. Um, and I, I got mine on the PS5. I, I only played the beginning of it. Uh, I, I don't want to spoil it. The beginning was awesome. Uh, creating your character was amazing. Every face, every hair color, every eye color looked great. A lot of detail. I don't care what people say. So far, I give it about an 8.5 out of 10. I want to see more before I give it that 9 or 10. Um, but I'm having so much fun with it, guys. So um, I'm going to be trying to build, play Hogwarts Legacy, work, and hang out with my kids all at the same time. So I don't know how often I'm going to do these Lego reviews, but I'm definitely going to try and keep pushing out content, guys. So uh, it's just going to be a busy week, plus the move that we're going to be doing. So um, guys, if it starts slowing down on the channel a little bit, I do apologize, but we're going to keep up with this and the best I can. And uh, yeah, so I appreciate you guys coming and watching this video. I know it's just a vlog, but uh, I, I want to keep doing these kind of things so that you guys as a community can get to know me a little bit better and enjoy the channel a bit more, hopefully. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. And guys, until next time, keep bricking.